Hey guys, what's going on? If you're anything like me and I have wheel sets kind of laying on the ground under my shop on top of inside of a rack, kind of all over the place and you kind of want to consolidate them to keep them from banging around. Well, here's what I just built and stay tuned and you guys can see just what I did to make this happen. First off, I really want to apologize. I haven't been done doing any videos or anything like that recently. Um, I just, uh, separated my shoulder and I uh, haven't been on the bike or been able to do very much lately so I'm pretty bummed about it but I'm taking this time right now and I am going to be building a wheel rack. Um, a few of you guys have wheels laying around similar to what I have here. Um, got a whole row. I don't know why but I collect them. <laughs> Take some off, put some on, whatever it may be and um, today we're going to be utilizing this bad boy right up here. Everybody has one in their garage. And uh, we're gonna be using a couple pieces of scrap wood that I have laying around. Um, so forgive me for this uh, one-handed crippled video. So I apologize if it comes out a little messed up, but uh, I wanna take this time off to make some video, have some fun and show you guys a little do it yourself. Well, this is a few of the things that you'll need to uh, actually complete this. And there's obviously these hooks that you can get at anywhere, hardware store, Walmart, Home Depot, wherever it is. Some screws you're gonna, you know, whatever I had laying around that you're gonna use to mount that wood piece. And um, these guys right here, which is a rounded, a rounded tip, sorry, I can't get to focus, but um, a rounded tip bolt that will mount to the track of the garage door. Um, obviously some nuts that go with it um you can get this stuff at home depot that's basically where i got all my things you know not even these things i think were 97 cents a piece at home depot super cheap you know 10 bucks i'd have 10 sets of wheels to go on there so you need that many get that many 10 bucks these screws i have lying around and that's just to uh kind of mount the wood piece the way i'm gonna do it and you'll see just how i do it all right, so basically right here, you'll notice there's already pre-drilled holes in this track. And that's what I'm gonna be using to uh, mount my board up to this this kind of railing right here. And uh, you'll see just how I'll do it right now. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing right here is going to be getting this board kind of mounted up there, mocked up and kind of align the holes where I'm gonna be drilling. Um, I'm using these clamps here just to kind of fixate them to the railing of the track. And I'll get my uh, Sharpie out here and uh, make some marks and so I can know where to pre-drill these holes. And uh, looks like it's pretty nice and even all right it looks good well check and double check everything else all right now what I'm gonna do is uh, make sure those holes match up drill out these holes make sure they line up nice and good really tough with my left hand I'll tell you that much but uh, once I get them all nice and drilled out I will uh... oh and make sure that uh, you <laughs> you, you uh, <laughs> make sure you have enough space for the drill uh, in my case I need to move my garage door a little bit go ahead and bring that board down and uh, look at, as you can see where I drilled I drilled those holes right there all right now uh, what I have here is basically the hooks kind of mocked up to show you how long they are and just how far I'm gonna put this board what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting these hooks into that square uh, one by one board so that way I wasn't using that one by six and just kind of measure out kind of how far you want that hook to stick out I, I just kind of want it to Kind of just enough to where I can get the the rim inside that underneath that board, and 
what you do is what I'm doing right here is basically since I only have one hand I can't exactly um, you know screw in that board very good so I'm just kind of putting some mock screws just so I can hold it in place so when I turn that board over I can you know get a better nice flush finish with these screws I'm gonna lay it down right here now it looks good now I'm gonna get some screws I'm screwing right on the top here that way it looks all nice and clean um, right through here there's one don't mind my awkward uh, one-handed in a sling <laughs> it was really tough to screw in these things I'll tell you that much the left hand it just wasn't wasn't happening but uh, do what I can with my right hand as much as I can I just can't move it up or down so all right well as you can see here I've uh, made those pre-drilled holes drilled it in there and now what I'm gonna be doing is pre-drilling these holes so I can put in these hooks uh, easily that way it's not cracking the wood because you don't want to uh, directly put in these hooks because they're so fat that pine one by one will just basically split into place and you end up with a broken board and we all know that's not fun and you're back to square winter days so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill all the stuff um, mock up those hooks and um, yeah what I did with I used that one by one that one by one is, is a little bit small so you know it kind of sat a little bit close to that that one by one by six that I was using which you know it was scrap wood I had it laying around so it's not a, ideal but it definitely works well um, I wanted to keep the cost as low as possible I spent you know a total of ten dollars on everything else with the hooks and I well maybe even twelve dollars I'm sorry I forgot about the the bolts uh, that I had to buy to fixate it to that track um, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing here is just screwing these bad boys in and uh, turn it around so that way you can kind of see what I'm doing there. And uh, we'll fix this camera. And that way, you know, you have a better idea. I'm, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna measure things out, make sure all the things are even. Uh, I believe what I did was, was I did each set of wheels, which is two hooks. Each of them were about four and a half inches apart. Uh, each individual hook that were together were about three inches. It was a bit tight um, and close together, but that's just because I have a lot of wheels and a small amount of space that I had to work with. So I kind of wanted to keep them as close together as possible uh, just so I can use, you know, that small space. And uh, if you want, if you don't really have as many wheels as I do, like I said, I had five different sets of wheels, total of 10 and uh, I had which is the kind of a lot um, so if you have a lot less space them out more that way they're not touching or banging around and whatnot uh, but uh, I have them keep them kind of nice and nice and tight and that way they're just kind of sitting up against each other but like I said uh, each each set of hooks is uh, three inches apart and uh, between each set of hooks is four and a half inches um, if I would recommend, I would probably maybe do even, uh, let's say four inches between each set of hooks and six inches apart. And that way that will separate them enough to where they don't touch, but, um, looks good for me. Um, as you can see here, three inches, three inches, three inches, and each set is actually four and a half inches apart. And okay, well now that I got it all buttoned up, I'm gonna use these clamps and clamp back up here. Like I said, I have one hand, so it's not exactly easy to mount these bad boys up here. And um, yeah, let's get this mounted up. Get these bolts in place. Put those things in there. Uh, 
Now let's get these nuts on the back. Okay, now you can take off these clamps. Make sure it's nice and secure. What I did here is I actually turned these hooks just like a slight, maybe a 45 degree angle. As you will see when the result is when I'm when I'm done. Just so I can get the wheels to kind of flow at a certain angle and you'll see here when I put them up. As you can see, see how they're, with the amount of space that I had to work with, um, you know, and the amount of wheels that I have, it is pretty tight. They do sit on top of each other, but give them a little shake and wiggle and kind of move them around a little bit, and they should fit nicely. Go ahead and mount this bike up here on the wall, just to kind of make sure that I have enough space and clearance between uh, one of my bikes and this wreck. And boom, there you go. Yeah.